Hey guys, it's M16. I'm back, and I don't know why it took me so long to go up the Russian tank to shore line, but I've been having an absolute blast in it. The SU-100 and the this tank, the SU-152, is immense fun. And the SU-152, obviously, I'm running the stock gun on it. And I want you to guys, I want you guys to repeat after me. This is my boomstick. There are many like it, but this one is mine. And the reason why this one is mine is because I will be firing heat the vast majority of the time. Unless I know I can penetrate with the HE, or I think I can penetrate with the HE for that matter. Because this effectively turns into a tier 7 ISU 152 because it's got the same alpha damage and about 30 or 40 millimeters less penetration but it's still at tier 7 and with the HP buff that this got in patch 2.5 it's got pretty much the same amount of health so either they're going to give the ISU 152 a buff somewhere which is a bit ridiculous because the, I mean, the SU-152 buff was ridiculous in the first place. But either the 152's uh, ISU is going to get a buff somewhere. And then I got to really hurry and get to that one because that'll be really fun too. Popped a shot off because why the hell not. There was a small chance I was going to hit the enemy SU. If I did hit him, I was going to kill him, so I took the shot. Ended up missing, but whatever. That's life. Shooting at this KB-5. Hit him. Got a low damage roll, quote-unquote, of like 519. And I got shot by that KB-1S over on the right. So I pop up. Don't really have a shot in the KB-5. So I'm looking over here towards the IS-6 and the KV-1S trying to find a shot I see the little gap right there I'm gonna turn off auto aim so I can shoot the gap but I was too slow that time I ended up turning it back on and then hitting the shot anyways because reasons and I see this enemy SU-152 so myself and my platoon mate who also sees it Turn around. He's got the bad gun. My platoon mate fired, hit his gun mantlet, and then I just executed him before he even got all the way around the corner. Now the KV-1S on the enemy team who shot me is going to learn why you don't shoot me. Because I will shoot you back, and I have a much bigger gun than you do. When I get to his IS-6, I switch to HE because my plan is to penetrate the top of his engine deck. I don't penetrate, but I set him on fire, so it pretty much has the same effect, so I'm okay with that. Now the KV-1S is the last one left, so my Patuma and I are kind of in a race to get to him, because this T-29 is never going to get there. But So we're on a little challenge, I guess. My platoon mate shot and missed. I'm going to fire, hit him, but somehow bounce the side of his turret. I think it was, I don't even know, actually. I, I lied. I don't, no clue what happened. And this KB-5 had the audacity to shoot me. So, this is what happens when you shoot me. I shoot you back, and I hurt a hell of a lot more than you hurt me. So, that is one of the first dozen or so games I played in the 152. 3900 damage, first class mastery. I don't think I've aced this tank yet. It's really hard to get an ace. You have to do so much damage. And I'm betting it would be a lot easier if they were with tier 9s also. Second game, Black Gold Bill. I immediately noticed that I have a Grim member on my team in the Type 59. And I assume that he's platooned with a relatively good player because Grimm's a pretty good clan. 
And so I immediately, naturally, start talking crap to the enemy team saying, poor guys, they already lost, but they don't even know it yet. And yet yeah, some of them and my team don't uh, don't exactly appreciate it, but it was totally worth it. The yeah, Type 62 Dragon on my team did not appreciate me t talking trash, and neither did half the enemy team. But uh, and they're like, don't be so sure of yourself. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, in the situations like this, I can be completely sure of myself and totally get away with it. But right now I'm waiting for tanks to go up, trying to get to the caves, and I'll get nice, lovely side shots on them. And now we just wait, and the SG-152 spotted on the right. I go up a little bit, but I don't have a line of fire on him or the KV-1S, because they're way too far back. And the T-44 spotted. Still don't have a shot on him, really. And the Type 59 in the enemy team was spotted, and he doesn't even know I'm here at all. We proxy spotted each other, so he knows I'm here for sure. But he's just, he's not paying attention at all. I was really hoping for an ammo rack there, but I mean, got a low quote unquote damage roll of six hundred and eleven, and then he notices that I was there. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. He's like, "What? What just hit me?" And there's that T forty four earlier that was not happy about me being so sure of myself, and so I smack him for seven hundred and thirty six, which is a High damage roll. Yeah, it, it's a pretty pretty high damage roll. Totally fine with that. I shoot the Type 59 so my platoon mate can finish him off. Because there's no point in shooting the T-44 on 300 health. When I can shoot the Type 59 on 600 or 800 health or whatever he had. And get a full damage roll. And kill him quickly. Because the Type 59 is... A bit more of a threat because he's got more armor than the T-44. My platoon mate wouldn't be able to penetrate him as easily. So out of the T-32, you got to be really careful when you're firing heat at the sides of tanks because sometimes, if it's not a completely flush shot, the tracks will eat the shot. Or if a tank like the IS-6, IS-3, IS-7, IS-8, if you're shooting at any of those tanks with heat, on the sides, they have a strip of spaced armor, and you the, the spaced armor will just completely stop the heat because what it does is it will like go in and it'll penetrate the spaced armor and then explode. But they don't have a mechanic where the explosion actually does damage, so the heat just goes in and like dissipates pretty much. And you really don't want to shoot heat at the side of an E100 hole because you're... I don't even know if Yakpan's E100 heat will do any damage to it. Yakpan's E100 heat has 420 average penetration. This clip is called, How the Hell Am I Still Alive? All you really need to know is, at the very beginning of this match, I was talking the same kind of crap I did in the last match in Black Goldville, and this panther was none too happy about it. And I got shot by someone who wasn't the panther, so I put the boxes as cover between me and him. And I am spamming the help button as fast as I can, begging for anyone to help me. And I am just pretty much waiting for my demise, because that panther is not coming around the hip corner. And then now the T20s here, which is the guy that shot me. And so I just pop adrenaline and kind of hope he makes a mistake. And then he does, which is great. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy the enemy team making massive mistakes. And he makes another one, which he goes out and shows me his side. And so I just execute him. And somehow this T20 let me back up. And he wasn't on my rear, so I was able to turn around and get my gun on him. Someone shot him, and I shot him in the fuel tanks and set him on fire. And so naturally... <laughs> I continue talking mess until the very end of the match, which is awesome. 
This clip is, holy crap, the damage rolls. Firing HE at a Type 62 Dragon, and I set him on fire for 3 ticks and ended up doing 880 damage with one shot. Which is a low damage roll, actually, with HE. But don't worry, this next one is not a low damage roll. I get barely above average and hit 914. This clip is, not today, you're gonna die too. This T-43 tried to suicide, but my platoon mate told not today, and decided to dive on him and crush him underneath his tracks, like the scumbag he is. And here is for any Type 62 Dragon skeptics. You can do very well in the tank, and I might have a damage record in it, with the this next clip, I did 4,999 damage and got a draw. I was probably 20 seconds away from winning. Less than that because the AT-7 had like 200 health left. And I... Ugh, it, was, it was a good match though. It was fun to play. Anyways, this is M16's World of Tanks Blitz replays. I hope you enjoyed my video, and as always, have a nice day.